Oh, well, there's not much, but he just shook all the snow <laughs> off his face. <laughs> yes, it is a winter weather advisory today. Can you see the snow coming down? Yes, we're supposed to get, I think they said three to five inches. Yes, so I'm going to be having to wipe up the floors today. Everybody bringing little snowballs into the house. Okay, you guys ready to eat your um, breakfast? You ready to eat breakfast? Okay, let me get it ready. Everybody's happy now. Everybody's happy they got their breakfast. <laughs> I slept right through my um, husband and daughter getting ready for work. Yeah, so they're already gone. And I'm glad they made it off before the worst of it. There's a couple inches out there right now. Um, I think they said, well, they said the heavier snow was going to fall around 10 this morning. Um, so it looks pretty heavy to me. So I'm glad they're off to work and hopefully the roads get, before they got to come home, hopefully the roads are, um, plowed good and salted. We shall see. My daughter probably gets out about five or six, I bet. She had to be to work at nine, so. Hopefully my husband doesn't have to show any houses today. <laughs> or if he does, hopefully the people will cancel. Um, I don't know, I didn't even ask him last night, so. All right, let me get me something to eat. So I decided I better try and, um, where's my coat? Did I leave it out? I need my boots. I need my boots. I think I left my coat out last night. Cause I had to get Grant to go. Oh, yep, I did. I left my coat out. What do you got in your mouth? A bone? <laughs> if you do, you can't take that out. It'll get buried. Come here, Miggy. Come here, what do you got? Come here. Yeah, mine don't know. <laughs> if you take that outside, it'll get buried in the snow. So I'm gonna throw on my boots here. I'm still on my PJs. I'm gonna take my flip-flops off, which these flip-flops have been wonderful for my feet. I'll try to find them and link them down below in case you have plantar fasciitis. I'm gonna slip these. These are my boots that are kinda, I don't wear. Um, I don't even zip them up, I just slip them on. And uh, leave my poop pick up in when I uh, have lots of snow. So I figured I better get out there and try to find the poops they just did this morning before they get buried. Even though I really don't want to go out there. No, I don't. I really don't. <laughs> Do you want to go out? Do you want to go out? Okay. You guys can go out too. Okay. I'm going to go out and try to find the landmines. All right, let's go in. Let's go in. We found the poops. We found them. I think I'm gonna have to shovel the deck off here. Yes, let's go in. Oh my goodness, Magnum, what were you doing? Oh my goodness, all right, let's go in. You guys go in, I'm gonna shovel. Oh, yes, no. oh God. I'm gonna be mopping floors all day. All right, I'm gonna try to shovel some of this and then I'll eat breakfast. All right, I had to shovel over by my grill because I still grill in the winter. <laughs> and if it snows much more, I'm gonna run out of places to put the snow because I'm trying not to cover up my bushes. Um, so it's pretty, I have to fling it over the bushes. So, yeah, it's already starting to, you can see where I stopped. Here, it's already getting covered again. Yeah, but I thought it was slowing down here a minute ago, but I think the flakes just aren't as big. It's 
still snowing. I don't know if you guys can see, it's still snowing pretty good. So I'm probably gonna have to come make paths for the dogs later today. And shovel this again. Thank goodness we have a friend coming to do our driveway later. <laughs> At least I don't have to mess with that. Oh, now time to eat, I'm cold. Well, it's a little after 10 now, and it looks like the snow is stopping. So, maybe the heavy snow moved through earlier than what they thought. I'm glad it's stopping. <laughs> I need to look at my, uh, I mean, it's, it's lightly snowing. You can barely see it, though. I need to look at my weather app and see... Maybe the worst is behind us, and if it is, we only got a couple inches, so I was thinking, oh no, I don't want five or more inches, because <laughs> we had, I didn't tell you guys this, because I uh, didn't film this past weekend, but Friday morning, my husband and I were awakened at seven, seven something in the morning, I think it was around 7.30, to our doorbell ringing like crazy, and I thought, Who's at our doorbell at 7.30? What do you got? Oh, you got a ball. I can't throw it down there because my vacuum's down there. I usually throw it down the hallway, but I don't want them to run into the vacuum. <laughs> yes, I just got done vacuuming in here. I cleaned my uh, vacuum out, the tank part, the filter part, ran it underwater, got it all cleaned out because I noticed it wasn't didn't seem to have the suction that it usually does, so I cleaned it all out last night. I haven't done it in a long time, and I, I needed to do it, so I was being lazy not getting it done. Um, yeah, so we were awoken to the doorbell ringing. Dogs started barking, and I'm like, who is at our door? Is it our son? What What's going on? Because our son has moved out now. Um, so my husband got up, went to the door. Um, I threw on uh, my robe came out and I looked out the window and there was a police car in our driveway. And of course, my heart dropped. Yes, it did, didn't it, Miggy? My heart dropped because I thought, then I started thinking, is something wrong with my son? Did something happen to him? Because as you know, I love the ID channel and I watch all these murder mysteries and when they come to tell you something's happened to a loved one, it's exactly what I was thinking. So, my husband answered the door that is right through this hallway there in the front. And so I stood there listening uh, to see what he was saying because I was just, I was freaking out. <laughs> um, and I heard him saying, a lady pulled out, blah, blah, blah. So I heard, so I heard there was an accident. So these curtains were shut. So after I peeked to see who was in the driveway, I looked more outside here and I saw our mailbox smashed and tire marks through our yard. So there had been an accident in front of our house. So thankfully, thankfully it had nothing to do with my son or anyone else in our family. Um, yeah, somebody was pulling out. You can't really tell, but where those bushes are there, that's a drive. It's an entrance into a school. And somebody pulled out in front, to, in front of a lady who was traveling this way. And to avoid hitting the car, she veered off, hit our mailbox, and went into our yard. Thankfully, she didn't come up and hit a tree. Um, so yeah, so we had to replace our mailbox this weekend. Isn't it sad that someone could take out your mailbox? If it was me and I took out someone's mailbox, I think I would go up to the door with the police officer and say, here's my number. Please, when, once you replace it, let me know how much it was so I can come by and reimburse you. But of course, that's just me. That's not a lot of people. <laughs> how many of you would, if you took out someone's mailbox, would you replace it for them? Um, let me know in the comments. Yeah, I definitely would. Yes, I would. I would feel horrible. Even though I was trying to miss hitting a car. I would still feel horrible if I took somebody's mailbox out. So, yeah, that was a crazy Friday morning. <laughs> we just start the morning. Um, but the weekend went good. Yeah, just kind of didn't do much. Um, but, uh, it was a nice weekend. So, um, so I've got to get my butt moving, finish vacuuming. Wiping up floors. I've got to clean my bathroom. What are you trying to hit Miggy for? <laughs> Why are you trying to slap Miggy in the face? Why are you trying to slap him in the face? I'm gonna... oh. 
Magnum, did this squirrel run by you? <laughs> he scares the crap out of me sometimes when he does that. Yes, he does. Magnum, you scare the crap out of me. Magnum. <laughs> He's like, I'm top dog. I am top guard, guard dog. <laughs> you scare me to death when you make that noise sometimes. Yes, you do. Yeah, I was going to wash their faces today, but I don't think so with the snow. They're just going to get wet. They're just going to get wet and dirty. Yes, they are. So, yeah. So I'm going to go get my cleaning done. Just wanted to check in a little, let you know everybody's good. I uh, I had to order some medicine for Max. Um, if you've been watching a while, uh, our channel, you'll know that Max had, in 2018, he had some, I'm going to call them warts. Let me see if, let me see if I can get him to, here, sit down for a minute. I'm going to show him around his elbow and he's got some by his pee, pee area. Let me see if I can show you guys. I don't know if it'll focus. He's got some black wart things going on on his elbow. I don't know if that's going to focus. Milo, <laughs> your brother Lo. And he also has them down by his pee, pee area. I can't remember the exact name. She called it like a papilloma virus. Magnum, stop sniffing his rear. Um, you stop sniffing his pee pee. <laughs> They're like, we're dogs. That's what we do. Um, okay, leave him alone. He wants to know why I'm petting on Max. What's going on? Um, she called it like a papilloma virus. So um, most of the time people don't treat that on their dogs. Um, but since it's down by his pee, pee area, and that's what happened last time too, um, I want to treat it. So we had to have some medication compounded. She found a, we had it done at Road, Road Runner Pharmacy in Florida before, last time we had it. Um, this time we had to get it out of a pharmacy out of New Jersey. So yes, so three months supply of that was $160 and it'll be here. I think she, I think they said fe they can't get it to us till February 11th. So thank goodness it's nothing serious that he needs medication for. Yeah, and he has some on this leg too. So I just want to get it taken care of. So yeah, so he had that back in 2018 too. And she said sometimes it'll go dormant for a while and then it it pops back up. So because <laughs> it's been since 2018 that he had that. Yes. So so we're gonna get that taken care of for him. Um. So that's the only thing really going on with the boys. Everybody else has been doing great. Um, yes, Miggy has to go February 1st and get heartworm test and get a lepto vaccination. Yes. Oh, I knew Milo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hit my picture. That's too bouncy of a ball, boys. Are you going to try to get it, Miggy? He's not going to let you. All right, I got to get that vacuum moved so I can play fetch with the boys. All right, guys. We'll talk to you guys again in the next video. Hope everybody's having a great day. Bye. I had to pop back on and show you guys the boys enjoying their heated throw. I make the bed, and then I put their heated throw on for them in the winter. You enjoying that, Miggy? You enjoying that warmth? It gets, it gets pretty warm, too. Yes, it does. I was laying there reading my book um, the other day, and I had my legs just on it with the boys around me, and it got toasty on <laughs> my legs. Yes, it did. Yes. So if you live in a cold climate, get your doggies a heated blanket or throw so they can get toasty. You going to be little toasty marshmallows? <laughs> They're so cute. All right. Bye, guys.